what's up guys um i'm just leaving the uh the va clinic i'm at the emergency part um i was there for quite a while it was dark when i went in here and now it's if i ate something uh pacific time and um i wasn't feeling too good so let me tell you guys what happened so i'm a pretty hard worker man i work uh when I work, I work, right? And uh, <clears throat> uh, probably the day before yesterday, I started getting pretty bad diarrhea. Nothing big, because I, I, I get diarrhea sometimes. You know how we, we do it. Some Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Uh, and I was feeling a little lethargic and tired. Uh, and I thought because of how much I was working. But then last night, you know, I was just, you know, doing my thing and working with people and stuff. And and I felt something I never felt before, man. I was really, really achy. Um, really achy, man. And my muscles was kind of hurting and, <clears throat> you know, it was, wasn't comfortable. I wasn't sneezing or nothing like that, but I was feeling off, right? And so I went home last night now, normally I work until the till four or five in the morning sometimes, but last night I, I left and went home at about eleven, and um, and I told the people that I'm working with that uh, I had to go. I'm not I'm not feeling too good, and then one of my friends says, "Hey man, it looks like you know maybe you're pre-diabetic or something like that." And I always thought I was, you know, and so I thought maybe it's that or. Maybe it's just my muscles are so tired because I've been I've been getting it in, right? And so I go home, <clears throat> lay down from like 11 something to 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. I wake up about 2.25 a.m. And I'm still feeling this way, man. I was like, man, I got a couple hours sleep because I was about to go back and get some work done. I said, man, I gotta go to the emergency room. So I talked on the phone one of my homeboys and stuff, didn't tell him like, I think I had COVID or nothing. I was just like, man, I'm feeling achy and I'm gonna go up to the uh, to the emergency room. I'll let you know what happens. And you guys are the first to know what's what I'm about to tell you. And so, um, man, I'm a little off balance right now. It feels good out in the sun, man. It's not too hot, the sun is just coming up. And so I go to the emergency room and they're asking me all these questions. They take me to the back. I'm telling them how I'm feeling. They go, well, look, we, we need you to take a COVID test. Now I've taken a COVID test before one time. And if anybody's taking a COVID test, you already know that is not, <laughs> it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. You guys know that. And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't want to do it. And, and he was a real cool doctor, the guy. He was like, go ahead, man. He was like, almost like a, like one of the beach boys or something. He was cool. And then the guy that checked me in, that was real, real cool. And then the nurse, both my nurses, they changed the shift. The first nurse and the second nurse was cool. I, I met four really nice people tonight. He talked me into it. I was like, all right, I'll take one. So then I found out that I'm going to take a bunch of blood work, blood tests. And as I'm sitting there thinking, because you know how time gets you thinking. I was like, man, I'm not about to take this freaking COVID test. All I got to do is just find out what's really wrong with me with all this freaking blood tests. And then I'll go from there. Um, so I said, then I told the nurse, and nah, I ain't gonna take it. <laughs> so the doctor came back, the real cool doctor, the Beach Boy doctor. He's like, he's like, Jerry, I'm th you just said you're gonna take it. He's all laughing with me. And I was like, nah, he's like, listen, man. He started explaining to me. Just like him and the guy that's, that checked me in the re reception nurse was telling me, a lot of people have COVID, man. And uh, this hospital is filled with people with it. Now, relatively speaking, I remember I'm about 46 and a half. And relatively speaking, I'm young. And I don't have a lot of pre-existing um, um, conditions. I have a couple, but nothing major. <clears throat> and they said if, if something flares up like that, then I'll uh, let you know. But um, so I'm sitting there and I go, all right, man, I'll freaking take the test again. He's like, all right, man, don't change your mind. So the lady came in. I said, listen, you got to be gentle with me. <laughs> she says, I know. Then she goes, take your shirt off. I said, whoa, whoa. Don't we, should, don't we get to know each other a little better? And I was just making them laugh and shit. And uh, so they did an EKG on my on my chest and took all kind of blood work on me and everything. And everything came back good. 
which is good news. That's good news. And you have to wait on the COVID test. The COVID test uh, here is an hour and a half. It's 90 minutes. So I had to wait for that. And I'm like, man, he's like, well, you know, what's wrong? What are you, what's happening to you? What's I'm explaining it to him. I said, look, man, something's wrong with me. And so he's like, oh, it'll be done in about 20 minutes. Don't worry about it. So he comes back two minutes later and he goes, he's all sad. And he goes, Jerry, I'm sorry to tell you this, man, but you got COVID. And I looked at him, I go, what you sad about? He's like, oh man, that's really not good news for people. I said, I'm fine, don't worry about it. And then we were talking and stuff. He's like, yeah, you'll be fine. Just you got to quarantine for 10 days. And you know, he's giving me my paperwork and telling me everything to do and stuff like that. But I'm making this video and telling you guys this for a reason. Let me tell you the reasons I'm not telling you this. <laughs> now this is me fresh off, you know, I probably had it for two days, maybe 72 hours, I'm not sure. Um, but I think I got a quarantine for 10 days. Uh, they said the start of the condition, so I don't know when that's gonna be. But I'm telling you this, or not telling you this, for you to feel sad for me or feel bad for you and for me and i'm not telling you to say oh you know what was me now this this video is today july 23rd and because i don't want you to feel bad you know you know how many people's got covid <clears throat> and i'm not gonna say it's not a big deal because i will never disrespect people that that have it and stuff like that i just feel like uh when i call it the scamdemic i just think there's more than meets the eye when it comes to uh, what's going on here with the financial markets and shutting everything down. But that's for another video. The reason I am making this video, guys, <clears throat> is to give you guys a good perspective on things. My grandmother always told me, God rest her soul, she raised me, that everything that happens to you, no matter what, you gotta find the good in it. You have to, and I've had some major things in my life happen to me, and, and as of you, you guys have too. Major deaths, major injuries, whatever. And today, uh, July 23rd, is one of those days um, that you'll remember what you were doing and stuff like that when you get something like, you know, COVID-19. And um, I applied that when my grandmother died, you know, and that was the worst thing that happened to me, her and my daddy. My grandfather died too, but, um, and what I did was I wrote everything down. They taught me. I wrote everything down of why I love them so much, what kind of good person they are and uh, what they did for me and uh, how I want to make them proud and always show them when they look down here that I'm still working for you. I'm still, you know, the product of you is still down here. And uh, I think of that every time. And I'm not the biggest religious person, guys, but I'm gonna tell you, um, when you got days like this, you gotta appreciate them, right? It's a beautiful desert, you know. Because guys, look at these mountains back there. Because, guys, you never know how many days you got left. And when you get um, uh, diagnosed with something like this, you know, it could, it could bring you down. You know, it's people die from this thing. And I know that, and I'm aware of that. And I'm not one of those people that says uh, COVID-19 doesn't exist. Okay, I, I know it exists. I know people that had it and got very sick from it. But right now, I feel okay. Um, the receptionist guy had it, my doctor had it. And they both told me, you're gonna go through some shit, man. You're gonna go through it. You know, and if any of you guys that had it, you know, and you guys know people that had it. But right now my conditions are, as of now, is I'm very fatigued, I'm very achy, I'm tired, lethargic, I got some diarrhea. Um, I don't, I didn't lose my taste yet. I know a lot of people lose their taste and their, and their smell. Haven't, that hasn't happened to me yet. But uh, who knows, I'm just in the beginning stages of this. But the hardest part for me, to be honest with you, um, and I gotta turn this around into a positive again, is sitting home doing nothing, because that's not me, man. You guys know, you guys are workers. I, it's hard for me, but now I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this quote unquote negative into a positive. And maybe I'll turn this into some kind of internet business, or I can make some money online because I'm home and I'm forced to be home, or something like that, who knows? You know, but I'll be looking for those seeds of the positivity in these kind of things. And I want you guys to do the same thing. And I'm not trying to preach to you guys. I'm talking to you guys because you guys are smart. You guys are hard workers and you guys uh, are stackers just like me. And you're doing it for a reason. And uh, I tell you this once, I'll tell you it a thousand times. You don't just stack silver. You got to stack every all your needs, 
all your basic stuff. Things for shelter, food, water, security, um, you know, knives, all that stuff. But the most important thing you gotta stack is uh, things that make you healthy. Uh, your wealth is your health. And sometimes we don't realize that until it's taken away, but not me. Um, I recently lost a little bit of weight. I probably lost about 20 pounds in the last couple of months because I've been going hard, you know? And uh, I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm just telling you it is what it is. And uh, let me leave you with this. You guys keep your head up. Uh, don't feel sorry for me. I don't. That's not what I'm reason for. And uh, anytime something negative happens to you in your life, turn it into a positive. Plant the seed of the positivity in that quote unquote negative situation. And I'm telling you, um, it'll work out for you. All right. I got some videos backlogged. Hopefully if I'm feeling all right, I can edit them and put them up. I don't know if my editing will be that good because I'm sick, but <clears throat> who knows? Uh, but I'll be posting videos probably with my voice to, sh to let you know what's going on in the next couple of days. But uh, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I mean that when I say that. I'm not just saying that just to say it. A lot of people say that um, I'm a pretty genuine person and it makes me feel good when people let me know that. Um, when I'm saying this, the, the nurse and the, and, the, um, and the doctor told me that. They go, man, you were my best patient today. Both of them said that separately to me. And I did, I think that is because I have an innate gift of um, really wanting to know people and uh, getting to know them. You know, I just, I just always had that. I've always had a lot of best friends because I hold a mirror to them and I talk about them, you know. That's why it's kind of weird for me to be talking into this camera and stuff because I'm talking about me. But when I say I love you guys and I appreciate you guys, you know when I say it, I mean it, all right? Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below. Let me know your experience. Let me know what you think about the COVID-19 uh, situation. If you guys ever had it or know somebody, let's talk. Let's make a dialogue on this, guys, all right? And if you like the video, uh, hit the like button only if you like it. And if you like my videos and my channel, go ahead and share them. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? I mean, I'm really sharing stuff with you. You guys are the first people to know about this. So, Because um, we already know sharing is caring. And I care a lot about you guys. All right? I really do. And I will talk to you guys real soon. You have, to have a great rest of your day. And I uh, look forward to some videos I'll be uploading. And uh, let me know how you're feeling and stuff in the comment section below. All right? Love you guys. Peace and love, guys.